All right, well, hello physics students and welcome to this video lecture that is going to formally introduce you to the CER framework. Um, basically, what I'm going to do here in this video lecture is just take you through each step of CER. So I'm going to take you through claim, evidence, and reasoning, and then we're going to go back to that introductory practice sheet that you did for bell work last week so you can see what this actually looks like. So to begin, um, we use CER framework to answer scientific questions and to analyze those scientific questions in more detail. So the scientific question, that's, I mean, pretty straightforward. It's what do we want to know? Okay, what's, what's the point of this? Okay, now from there, we can get into the actual uh, execution of CER. So to begin, claim, this is probably the easiest part of CER, you're just writing a statement to answer the question at hand, okay? So just for good practice, your claim should always be a complete sentence, and we need to make sure that the claim has substance. So if, if you make a claim and you simply can just say yes or no, well, that's probably not even a question that's even worth uncovering and digging deeper into, okay? Um, we want to make sure that our claim, there's, there's some meaning behind it and, and that it warrants us coming up with evidence and using reasoning to make sure that that claim is valid, okay? Next, so ramping up the intensity a little bit, this is the evidence. So these are going to be collected observations um, or data from graphs, diagrams, experiments that we do. Again, in the example that we did last week, you saw a graph, so we should have taken observations from that graph um, to support our claim. So just some, some checkpoints here. Um, we need to make sure that we get enough evidence to ensure that we can support our claim when we get to our reasoning section. Okay, it's not enough just to have one or two pieces. We need to make sure that we're being very thorough um, when we collect our data. The next, we want to be very specific with our evidence, and you're going to see this on the next slide. Um, and we want to make sure that we're solely focused on observations from given data, um, collected data from an experiment. Okay, we don't want to just be pulling evidence out of the blue. And then finally, the reasoning. This is the most difficult part of CER. Um, this is where we're using our evidence to then support our claim. So we're always referencing back to our claim in our reasoning section. So the main key here is that we want to go piece by piece with our evidence to provide justification for it in terms of our claim. Okay? So we don't want to just forget about our claim and our reasoning. We always want to relate back to and support that claim with our evidence. Uh, and you're going to see an example. You're going to see that, uh, that process in the next slide here. Okay? But the reasoning is not just simply repeating the evidence. Okay? You're providing deeper meaning to it, again, referencing your claim. Okay? And when we get into experiments in this class, our reasoning should be focused around scientific principles okay, that, that we learn throughout this course. So... There's kind of a checklist for you, uh, a formal introduction to what CER is all about. Um, and hopefully that uh, going through this next example here will provide you with a little bit more context as to what that should look like. All right, so ladies and gents, so here is the example practice CER that we did for bell work last week. Um, first things first, I asked you to make observations. What did we observe in the graph? Now, I could have added some more in here, but I just focused on four main points here. So first things first, uh, this object is starting at 0, 0. Okay, at time is equal to 0, it's starting at some origin point here. Then from 2 to 4 seconds, or from 0 to 2 seconds, rather, we have a positive constant slope. Then from 2 to 4, we have a constant negative slope. And then finally, at time is equal to four seconds, the end point of this graph, we're ending at the origin again. So my claim here then, based on what this graph is showing me, is I'm saying that a person is walking from their house door, they realize they forgot to lock the door, and then they return to lock the door. All right, the evidence, this is your observations, 
okay? So really what I could put here, and I, normally I wouldn't split this up for you, um, but I really wanted you to just focus on that graph initially. So what I would just say here is just see above, okay? Just see my observations above. Now, the reasoning, this is the important part here. We want to take our evidence and relate it to our claim. Okay, we're justifying our claim based on our evidence. So what I would start out with is that origin point, that origin point is the door. Okay, so origin of graph is person's door. Okay, now the next thing. Positive constant slope from zero to two. This is showing that that person is walking away from the door, correct? So person is walking for two seconds away from the door. reaches eight meters before realizing they forgot to lock it. Now the crux of this then is this change in direction at two seconds. We now see a negative constant slope. This is showing us that that person changed the direction they were moving in. So person turns around, I'm gonna run out of room here, turns around to lock door, reaches door at four seconds. Okay, so what we can see here is that, yes, I have this, I have these observations, I have this collected data, but what I want to do now is I want to relate that to what my claim is, what the details of my claim are. It's not enough just to restate your evidence here. You need to relate it back to the claim, okay? So each step here, piece by piece, I was relating to my observations here and just connecting it to my claim. That is the biggest piece of advice that I can give you in your reasoning. Go step by step through your evidence and bring justification to it based on your claim, okay? So, with this all being said, you're gonna get a couple opportunities to practice today um, in terms of CER, okay? They're kind of goofy examples. One of them's goofy. Um, but do your best on them. Keep in mind these key points that I discussed in this video lecture. And if you have any questions along the way, please let me know. Take care.